Hello everyone, hello, hello, happy day. I hope you are all doing good. A uh, raw video today, see I'm not uh, wearing makeup on my PJs, uh, not my PJs, it's cool uh, tie-dye shirt we did with my son, uh, with one of our friends, with our, some of our best friends uh, last year. It was pretty cool. Um, I was actually like crying just like, before I start this video <laughs> and so I wanted to uh Okay, so I wanted to make this video really uh, on the moment with no filters uh, to be really truthful be concerning the previous video that I shared uh, concerning the fire letters and everything that's happening you know when you're trying to be a mediator and when you're trying to bring peace uh, there's billions of people in the world or millions I don't know how many people there in the world, uh, I think uh, eight, eight billion people, something like that. Um, of, uh, I have no idea actually. Um, so of course you will never satisfy everybody, right? Uh, I can't even imagine uh, how it is to manage, you know. Uh, peace and go and help people go to countries where you still have extremists okay so don't get me wrong when i express myself and i make general statements and stuff i'm not ever included these people who are complete extremists and hurting other people uh, this is unacceptable and yes we have to get involved and help people that are victim of that Okay, and it's at very different level and on psychological level as well. So yes, there is violence in the world. Okay, there are people uh, persecuting entire villages and but on the psychological level as well, uh, people have been persecuted for centuries and and this is just not acceptable and the worst is when this is done in a way that people don't even realize it okay so i was trying to kind of put water in my wine uh in my previous video because i don't wanna i respect everybody's opinion and i respect everybody's work but when i see how the religions okay let's just put it this way because how they put people in a state of victimization all the time make you doubt everything you are sure of everything that lights up your life and they're here trying to make you doubt everything like this is bullshit <laughs> okay so it's time you guys open your eyes right when you have people are just telling you there is only one way there is only one way this is the only truth god is the only truth uh then look twice uh god god made us at his image okay i if i'm not wrong this is written in the bible god made us at his image okay so therefore we're all an extension of god we are all have this connection with god so when someone tells you that you are powerless that everything you believe in outside of one sacred um book or one prophecy or one truth or one organization 
um, and they make you doubt yourself, everything you believe in, all your intuition that gives you joy every day and lights you up and then tell you, you know, these this people, they drain your energy, this is bad energies, this is, yeah, guess what, we all, we all feed of each other, okay, we all feed of each other, uh, Everything I share, I'm giving my energy for other people to feed from it and learn whatever my specialty, my experiences is, so you can feed from this. And I feed from other people, okay? I, I, I find my food for my soul from other people that inspire me. And yes, I adore some people and my best friends and my family. And, and this is how you support each other. You rely on each other you feed of each other and if someone is trying to make you doubt every single thing and and be like these people they're energy vampires okay they uh, they drain your energy they take advantage of you the, the twin flames doesn't exist um, or you should completely uh, ignore that, like Dean says, okay, in school they tell you that you have to be good, you know, at everything, but at the same time, it's like you're allowed, you're allowed to love what you love. Okay, you're allowed to love your friends, you're allowed to love your families, and yes, the twin flames, they exist, and every, every, it's, the twin flame is someone that is so close to your energy, this, that has the same energy blueprint that you have, and when you see a couple, uh, they, you recognize the twin flames, you recognize them because their love is so strong that they, they spread this around them, and it doesn't mean it's a romantic relationship or it has sometimes actual twin brothers and sisters they are twin flames and they have this deep connection and and so having jealousy about uh, the twin flames or trying to make a love like exclusive to no uh, I don't know I'm just I, I sometimes you feel like People want you to be in a category, but you can't. If you're in a category, you're, you're not. nature doesn't have a category. Nature is everywhere, in everything. God is in everything. Love is in everything. You have different types of love. And it's not because you love other people that you're going to be unfaithful to one person. Okay? And, and so I, w I was, you know, at the time of the, for this, copyright things um, for this, this this copyright thing at the time of the the light right France is the country of the light l'époque des lumières before all these copyrights and stuff the the people were taken from each other okay they, they would take from each other and one would make theater out of it when I just saw this article ridiculous about how someone sued Calogero Right for taking a a song, he wrote a song. Uh, si seulement je pouvais lui manquer, uh, and apparently, sixty percent of the song was taken from another song from or another guy or the, the music notes or whatever. But the song is better, by the way, and 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 what and so what like one guy made a song so in the entire history of the world anymore no one is going to be able ever to say these words these combinations of words or the combination of notes that's it i found it that's it i'm putting a patent on it and no one else in the world will be able to use it uh i don't know it just goes against creativity it goes against all the people I work with and that inspire me, it's not even that we steal from each other, it's just that we are so connected that we actually, most of the time, write channel the same thing. Like even, <laughs> I was writing something about Dean uh, 
on my Instagram yesterday, like, you know what, if I had to write a book about you, that'd be like how to be a kick-ass superhero or whatever. And then this morning I go on his Facebook and he's making a video and he's, he's like, ah, oh, this is going to be kick-ass awesome or whatever. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I just wrote that. And I didn't read his stuff. He did it before me. I didn't read it. I just channeled it, con had this connection and just literally wrote it. It's not even at that point that you're stealing from each other is there just we're we're connecting to the same energy so so now that's enough i'm tired of like the the the, the people the religions i'm sorry the religion this is how they build their fame and their structure and the doctrine all around the world in violence for people uh killing people killing natives and 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 not just one religion all of the religions all the wars in the world they're on religions and i didn't want to talk negatively about it because i don't want to create conflict and and i'm not in favor of one religion one language around the world because i think our differences our specificities our diversity of belief is what makes us rich, is, is our wealth of the world, okay? And what makes it beautiful. If we are all the same, that would be boring. Uh, we all have our specialty. And like Dean say, we, we bring the best of each other. And this is how we make the story work. Instead of in school, when they tell you, no, you can't help each other. You have to do it all by yourself. So you're already conditioned for the rest of your life that you can't take stuff from each other and so the world is going to be very limited. And so now I was saying I'm not going to show the books and stuff, but I don't care. I mean, okay, when I'm talking about Natalie, the fire letters, like I said, when I discovered the fire letters, I was instantly um, called to go to that. Okay, and she changed her faith and she had her experiences and her right to change her faith and and yes, and yes, there are negative energies, there are people who take advantage of you, there are energies that drain you, okay, and then it it's we all at some point we all drain each other, okay? At some point we you always have someone that can be your best friend that maybe will drain your energy, but this is not because they're a negative energy. This is just the story of life. You, there are some moments in your life when you have to be in more in your bubble. There are some moments of life where you need more support. So putting these people in category, like this is negative entities. You can't adore anybody else than God. I'm sorry, I adore, I adore many people. I adore my friends. It doesn't mean I'm giving my power away. I'm just following my intuitions and what light, lights me up and when the religions they come and they want to make you feel guilty okay they make that's the victimization that make you feel guilty about uh, adoring someone else or because there is this only one truth um, and that all the spiritual community is um, they're all trying to take advantage of you uh, for someone who's worked with the m the best uh publishers in the entire world um publishing book with other channels and stuff uh that's a little bit you know doesn't make sense so just to prove just to prove to you that i have this connection with her and it's not that i'm like stealing her work it's literally I was given, I was given the mission to continue that because publishing the fire letters, you're channeling a language from three civilizations. I've already talked about it, put a copyright on it and then remove them from publication, forbid anyone else in the world to use them, quote them or draw it or share the knowledge. OK, so to me, this looks like straight a, pro a process from the, the religion to keep the knowledge okay to not share the knowledge to keep this to this small percentage of initiates who were granted this this right for for the information okay and so all the rest of us 
small people, you know, uh, we're not allowed to have access to it. And we have to say, so talking about uh, putting people in a veil, you know, no. Uh, if you're trying to hide the knowledge, then you are contributing to putting a veil. Okay, so one of her books, Le Secret d'Esteban. Okay, Le Secret d'Esteban. My son is called Esteban. Literally, there is a scene inside the book when she's astral traveling and she is seeing a scene in Esteban's childhood when he's with his mom in the bathroom and she's like, stop Esteban, stop Esteban. And the light is going on and off, right? And I read this and I'm in shock because literally like a few months ago or years ago when we were here with Esteban, I remember Esteban like playing with the light like this in the bathroom, be like on and off and on and off. And we'd be like, stop Esteban, stop playing with the light, you know, and seeing like kind of a rainbow in my bathroom. And many times I know there are people, entities or people astral travel here in my house because they manifest through like a rainbow or um, their rainbows most of the time it's like little rainbows on the wall reflections of lights and stuff like that and I'm like oh okay there's someone here and she wrote this years ago when my son was not born yet so I know she's you know she she knows more than <laughs> she knows more than she pretends and most of the time the geniuses they are like that they're i know she's a genius and i know she's a great uh, a spiritual person and and yes maybe she had bad experiences and she changed her faith and and yes she was overwhelmed because people start knocking at her door like in adoration and stuff so that can be scary and so i completely agree on her her change of of decisions and stuff but then um don't prevent people tell them that you know all that they believe all that gives them joy um is completely wrong like i was just crying i was like oh my god like i'm so dumb like everything you know for a minute everything i believe in you know, and, and they're so good at this too. They're so good at, at showing it. And then Le Maître de Element, the Master of the Elements, my son Esteban, he was born on June 20th, the, the summer solstice, right? And I named him after this cartoon called The Mysterious Cities of Gold that happened in South America during the time of the colonization, actually, uh, when the Spaniards came to find the gold, the cities of gold in, in South America. And the little Esteban, he travels through a condor, a condor that is the emblematic animal of Peru. Uh, one of the animals, there is also the puma and the hummingbird and um, condor and um, the snake. But um, they have this giant condor that's made of gold and works with solar energy and solar energy. So at that time already, and when the cartoon was invented, they didn't have solar energies and stuff. So where do these knowledge come from? How is it passed on to kids and stuff? And now we're trying to just hide it, you know, hide that knowledge because they're scared that if people, they, they know the, the knowledge, then they're going to take over. And once everybody realized how much, how powerful there is, then it's a revolution and, and all the medicine and all this holistic stuff that you know they're like oh but this has nothing to do with the law or whatever yes it does it does in all the ancient traditions they would mix all the all the archaeology with the astrology they would use the food and the medicine and it's just one everything is one and the, uh, to find the energy and look at, if you look at this and you look at the lord of the rings Okay, it's like the exact same thing though. So it's not a knowledge that was just born. Okay, this is something that has been passed on and camouflaged for years and she remastered it. Amazing in these new letters. And now um, all my work, all my work, my oracle uh, is being jeopardized. I have to, you know, I'm accused of being um, a plagiarist or 
whatever you call it, well, the other words, I have an L'Alliance de Sang. Okay, this one, I, I, I created a painting right when I ordered this book. Um, I created a painting right before I went to France with like alliances, right? And it's a color, it's like a, a red uh, Bordeaux color and stuff like that. I didn't even think of the book, but that, now that I read the book and I was like, Wow, the alliance, the alliance, how connected, the connection that there is between her and I, that I'm telling you, I feel like it's like, okay, a redirection of the mission. Just like I explained how I wanted to create a bed and breakfast when I was in Peru. And then I chose to come here to America. And I saw this, this like the mission that was for me was redirected to this girl in Peru who then created it and it's called Inti, uh, Inti Ecolage and one of the painting, the first painting I did was Inti and I, this was at the same time I discovered this chick. So you see how simultaneously things happen. We have messages, we have so many proofs, okay, that we are all connected through this knowledge. The copyright is outdated, okay, yes you have to reference, yes you have to respect uh, people's work but I see how many people are doing the exact same thing I'm, I'm doing right now the, when I have an idea and someone is doing it I'm like wow this is incredible another book that she wrote the magic of number 13 and I always talk about the number 13 I was born on a 13 at 1300 one o'clock in the afternoon and and so I'm like, yeah, no, the, the, the connection, I'm sorry, you're not just because you change your faith, you're not just going to tell me that all this is just an invention, that all this is my mind, that I'm not credible, that, you know, all this is completely random. No, I'm, I'm just so tired of it, you know? So, like making you doubt people from your own family just so you're going to follow their one truth, their one God. But do you know that the, the, the God is the same God for everybody? It's the same God for everybody. So, Okay, so I'm going to pull a card from my oracle. The Mother Earth, Mandala Oracle. that you can find on Amazon on uh, my U, uh, US game systems um, my publisher website if you are a um, reseller if you have a store um, or a shop or any kind of uh, business and you want to sell it that would be awesome you order it from my publisher and you can resell it it's beautiful, it's colorful. Everything I've learned through, um, see I haven't wrote books, but I write oracles and through the paintings, there is so much energy and, and knowledge and stuff transmitted through it. Okay, so I'm gonna pull one card. <laughs> okay, so the first card, the golden spiral. Spiral. Okay, so the ups and downs, it's kind of a, and you see the colors kind of the golden spiral um the ups and down okay you never get back to the starting line you always grow from what you learn and from the down then you raise back higher but it's also in the hurricanes in the hurricanes is you know the weather the spiral that you find in the hurricanes and I feel like a hurricane right now because yes yes I'm a lot of people are not gonna like me after these videos and I'm sorry if you're in a religion or like I'm let's say my spiritual belief or my my soul family and stuff like that you call it you know a belief or whatever right and I'm not here telling someone no, these guys that I follow, they're the only ones that are right. Everything that you believe and that you follow, it's completely crap, you know? Um, 
this is the wrong. No, oh, you believe something different. Tell me about it. What is it? Okay, uh, I want to know. Um, but but yeah, when I see like religions or extremists or people that are just so sure about their their things, and this is you know there is this other other statements you know they say the problem about the world is like there's a bunch of idiots that are completely sure of themselves that are full of certitude and a bunch of geniuses that keep doubting themselves because when when you're a truth seeker and when you're when you want to be a better person when you're full of compassion and you're an empath you always care about being better you never want to hurt someone you so you, you, of course, you doubt yourself. You question your your beliefs because you, how can this be better? How can this be more true? Um, and so these people that are so sure about themselves, they are the ones, you know, who eat the others, and they come and criticize you how this is the way we do it. You know, um, well, this is your way to do it. And that's great. And you're not here criticizing other people because they want to do something different or they're different than you or accusing them of being uh, stealing your energy and stuff like that. Tch, fuck this. Okay. Then, Moon Candy. Moon Candy. Oh, this is a beautiful uh, artwork that I created during Navaratri. Navaratri, which is the... the celebration of the sacred feminine in India uh, okay well I'm gonna read I'm gonna read it 42 and it's also like the colors of I'm okay this one that I was creating during the Indian celebration of Navaratri the sacred feminine energy coming through this triple moon symbol is very present around you bringing a little bit of chaos among the order yeah that's me right now <laughs> but do not doubt its healing power it's all about knowing yourself better encountering new challenges will help you <laughs> sorry i'm just tired of challenges <laughs> It's just like, oh, challenges, yeah, cool, challenges, and more challenges. Like, sometimes, like, can we have something else, like, challenges? It's, like, tiring. Um, okay. So, encountering new challenges will help you really find priorities and connect with your deepest strength. Just like the ocean tides. Encountering new challenges will help you redefine priorities and connect with your deepest strength. Just like the ocean tides, the cycle of the moon influences your emotions in ways you can hardly imagine. Take the time to step back and recognize what really comes from you and what simply is channeled through you in synchrony with the current waves of energy. Okay, so one thing that I recognize and I agree with her um, when she's saying and and I th and I think I admire her so much because I agree with most of the concepts in general not necessarily in the way she's uh, promoting it or whatever but more in the concept in general that uh, yeah, don't give away your power. Don't give away your power um, like that. Okay, be be sure of your own be sure of your own truth. And if you're if for you God and your religion is what is what's important, then follow that. Okay, but don't try to destroy everyone else's beliefs because you believe different. And to tell you the truth, like, I've always been super social and all, all my traumas and stuff, they started when I got here in the U.S. And, and they were so, that I would speak freely about 
my beliefs and feel rejected because I wasn't, you know, in the same uh, religion or the same spirit and stuff like that. And, and so yeah, don't doubt your intuition. Don't doubt yourself or how people make you feel. Okay. Um, and on the opposite as well. You know, there are people that you just need to let go. There's people that, you know, you're like, oh man, I really idolized this person. Um, but every time you talk to each other, you're like, oh wow, really? Like, is this real? Like, is this even real? Like, <laughs> I have some people in my family, like every time I talk to them, I'm like, is this even real? Are they doing it like on purpose or... And then you're like, no, but it's okay, you know, we're family, we'll just stay family. And then you talk to them again and it's like, just again, you're like, wow, okay, uh, like no words, like no words, like really, you're like, okay, then don't just stay stuck on some people because you wish they were different or because you had an idea of them when they prove you countless thousand times that it's hopeless or you're just completely different you're just completely different energy now and 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 yeah there's there's nothing you can do about it so trust your intuition you know if you're like okay this is over then don't try to force it or you know that's just a waste of time but don't let people dim your joy and your light every time there is something or every time you have a challenge you know i have a lot of challenges and and when you talk to someone and they're like oh just drop it just drop it you know just drop it that's not worth the fight like you know what if i if i had dropped every single fight uh, then I would just be like a loser and not doing anything. I'm not saying I'm doing much more now. I'm, at least I'm trying and at least I'm trying and I'm putting my heart and stuff that I believe in with the people who encourage me to do it and to not give up. And when there is a challenge, they're like, hey, do you believe in what you're doing? Or are you going to keep going or are you just going to drop it? You know, and and so, yeah, it's it's more reassuring that someone tells you, hey, just drop it, avoid, avoid the conflict, avoid, you know, wasting your energy on, on this and that. But if you spend your entire life avoiding things, then you're not building your life. You're just taking the leftovers of whatever is not challenging, you know? And so, so yeah, listen, listen to your heart. Okay. Listen to your heart. Listen to the people that, give you joy listen to yourself and don't let don't let someone if it doesn't resonate you will know like if someone is saying something even if they're saying the complete opposite of what, <laughs> what you believe or whatever but how you feel about it okay like sometimes my mentor or my friends they tell you something you don't want to hear it but it's not necessarily like but it still feels right, it still feels, okay, you feel challenged, but you still feel like you're challenging yourself to be better, okay? It's not because people always agree with you. Yay! My angel! There's a cat outside that's hungry. Mommy, there's, a, there's a cat outside that's hungry. <gasps> really? Let's go feed them, okay? Yeah. All right, get the point. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Bye.